so today I'm going to be filming a video that I meant to film about three months ago when I moved into my new house. I mentioned in my new room slash office tour, which I'll link in the info bar below, um, that I had a new makeup storage kind of set up and that I had a whole kind of revamp and like re declutter I should say of my makeup collection and I promised you guys that I would do an updated makeup collection it's taken three months but here it is I hope you guys enjoy it this is my updated makeup collection and as a disclaimer I know I have a ridiculous amount of makeup um, blogging is what I do so um, it kind of comes with the whole package really so um, yeah one person definitely doesn't need this much makeup, so just a bit of a disclaimer, not trying to show off, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. So this is where I store all of my makeup. You guys might recognise this piece of furniture, it is the IKEA Alex, and it is really popular amongst YouTubes for the sole reason that it's pretty hard to find anything like this um, to store makeup in, and it really is amazing. You can get a lot of stuff in it, and it stores really well, there are a lot of drawers, um, and I'm going to show you what I keep in each of them. Now, I have used um, labels to label up everything that I have in these drawers. So as you can see here, I've got mascara, brows, and eyeliner. Um, now, if I open up this drawer, you'll be able to see everything is fairly organised in here, but it isn't exactly how I want it to be. Um, so as you can see, I mean, I kind of had to improvise because I recently moved house. I used to use the Muji clear plastic drawers as storage. If you've watched my previous makeup collection, you'll be able to see um, I use these like to actually store my makeup as well as on my dressing table. However, um, when I moved here, I just popped the drawers into this storage cabinet and it just seems to work. I mean, they're not ideal, they do move around a bit, but for the time being, I don't want any added expense. Um, so I just kept them in those and they work. So in here I have far too many mascaras than is humanly acceptable, really, as you can see, a total mixture of... I've got some Bare Minerals, I've got Revlon, this is a new bourgeois one that I've been trying out, Collection 2000, Armani... Um, Longcom Star, which is my favourite. Then I have eyeliners, again, a total collection of pencil gels. There's some liquid ones in there, mainly pencils because they're my favourite to use. Um, some of my favourite ones that tend to kind of be at the top are the Max Factor Liquid Eye Effects. Um, this is a MAC Black Track Fluid Line, Smashbox Liquid Liner, um, and yeah, lots and lots of other things in there. Not very well organised, but generally I have my favourites and I just use those. So here at the front we have brow stuff. I don't actually have a huge amount of brow products. As you can see, I've got some brow gel, um, a few different pencils. The Rimmel ones are actually really, really good. I have MAC Omega, I believe it is. Yeah, eyeshadow, um, which I sometimes use, and then a few like brow combs and stuff. My actual brow pencil that I use at the moment, which is MAC Lingering, along with the Anastasia brow gel, um, that I use actually aren't in here because they are upstairs in my bedroom because I use them every single day. In um, here, um, as you can see, there are a few things missing out of this drawer actually because I'm currently picking out things to wear on my wedding day. So in here I keep all of my single eyeshadows. So, so down the side here I have my Lancome Alba Elbaz um, palette, which I love. I've got a Soap and Glory palette. Um, an empty MAC quad that I use when I travel. I've also got NARS duos, a lot of these. I mean, I'll open a couple of them to show you. I love NARS eyeshadows, they're amazing. Um, I think that's Dog On, yeah, which is really nice. I haven't used that in a while, actually. Um, and I have Nouveau Monde, yeah, Nouveau Monde. It's like a kind of steely lilac colour with a khaki green and then in the back here I have individuals just mixed up. I don't have many of these. My MAC ones I do tend to depot um, but I do have a few. I think that's Grand Entrance there which I haven't got round to doing and then a couple of NARS individuals. I think Ashes to Ashes, Lola Lola and Lassa. I forgot about this actually. I love this colour, it's so pretty. Um, and at the back I have a couple of fake eyelashes. I don't wear fake eyelashes very often at all, so I only have two pairs. Um, and here I have cream eyeshadows. As you can see, there are a few missing from my wedding stash. But I have the Maybelline 24 hour colour tattoo ones at the front in lots of different colours. These are really, really good. Um, I think they're about £5 as well, so they're a really good buy. I have a couple of Chanel ones. Um, these are really lovely. I actually don't have um, my favourite colour, which is like the beigey one. I don't have. I've got gold, black, and then I think 
think this is one Chanel. Yeah. Um, what's this one called? Il Illusoir, which is like a taupe colour, which is really lovely. So Chanel ones, I have a few MAC in here as well. I've just totally messed up this organisation. I'm going to have to come back and play with it later. I have a few MAC ones as well, Bobbi Brown, things like that. And then in the front here, I actually keep eyeshadow primers and pencil crayons. So I've got some Urban Decay ones, the Clinique Chubby Sticks for Eyes, which are really nice. A Chanel one down there, a couple of others. And then here in the front, I just have a little stack of loose pigment eyeshadows. I really don't have many of these because, to be honest, I find them um, kind of messy. I'm kind of clumsy and I drop them on the carpet and things like that. But I do have a couple of the L'Oreal ones, which are amazing. I do have a few more colours of these somewhere hanging around, I think, in my makeup bag. Um, a Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill. I have one from the makeup store, which is beautiful rose gold. And an Illamasqua one as well. So that is my eyeshadow drawer. Moving on to the third drawer down. This is where I keep all of my lipstick. This is actually my favourite drawer because as you can see it is probably one of the only drawers that is actually full. So at the bottom here is where I keep all of my MAC lipsticks. This setup isn't ideal because I can't actually tell which colours are which. Um, so it works kind of for the most part for some of the others because they have the colours in the middle or on the outside or I only have a couple of them so I kind of know which one's which. Um, but for the MAC ones I really do want to find like an acrylic storage solution for them sometime soon but I haven't got round to it yet. I have all of my Chanel lipsticks. These are probably my most used. Um, I have the, I think, what are these called again? Rouge Coco. And then I also have Rouge Coco Shine, which are my favourite formulations. And I think these are Rouge Allure. Yeah, and then the Rouge Allure ones at the end. So I love my Chanel lipsticks. They are by far my most used. I've got some YSL here. I've also got Dior, um, NARS going along. Um, Revlon, I've got some Gemma Kid ones which are now discontinued, the Kate Moss for Rimmel ones which are great, L'Oreal, um, Rouge Caress, these are all kind of random ones or twos, I've got an Armani leather one there which is really nice, is that Armani? No, it's Givenchy, um, sorry that was a bit of a fail, it's actually personalised, they sent that to me, that's amazing, like the actual colour isn't very nice but um, they wrote my name, if I can focus, they wrote my name on it, they engraved it, how cool is that? And then I've got um, some CoverGirl at the back, some Topshop, a few other miscellaneous things. That is my lipstick drawer. The next one down, again one of my favourites, this is lip gloss. So these are a little bit harder to organise than lipsticks. I've got Stila ones in the corner here, MAC, I tend to kind of bunch them in brands but because they're all different packaging different sizes lipsticks tend to be fairly uniform um these aren't as neat i've got a couple of chanel ones nars here which i love the l'oreal um dupes for the glossy stains there's one of my glossy stains the other two have escaped me i think they're in my handbag um and then the rimmel apocalypse amazing 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 soap and glory um sexy mother pucker lip sticks these are incredible as well at the back i've got a whole host of random ones that kind of get brought out every now and again and then in here i've got lip balms which to be honest that box gets neglected some of these are really old this one is so old i'm just for sentimental reasons don't want to get rid of it which sounds really ridiculous but there we go that is my lip gloss drawer so the next drawer down is actually the messiest drawer as you guys can see this is my bronzer and blusher drawer and it is kind of a bit of a mess really um, on the left here i actually have blushes so as you can see i've got quite a lot of nars ones they're probably my favorites few duos um, as well, then in the front I've got a little mascara duo, a couple of the new Chanel um, cream blushes which are actually really nice, one of the Estee Lauder Jello Shot, Cello Shot um, blushes which I actually haven't really loved that much. Um, I've got a couple of Benefit ones here as well and then towards the front, um, or towards this side anyway, the right hand side I've got all my bronzers so there's a Bourjois one. Shiseido, MUA, a real mixed bag of kind of high end and high street. And then in the front I've got just random blushes again. I've got quite a lot of the Physicians Formula Happy Booster ones, love those. NYX cream blushes, Top Chop cream blushes, Maybelline cream blushes. And yes, all a big mess, but this is one of my favourite drawers to kind of play in because 
I love blush. The next drawer is one of the fullest ones. This is my base drawer. So I have foundation, concealer, powder and primer and highlighter and it looks a little something like this. Kind of looks messy but it's organised kind of in my eyes, I know where everything is. Um, in the front here I keep foundations, as you can see are again a real mixture. Anything that doesn't fit standing up I've put laying down, these tend to be kind of tinted moisturisers, Laura Mercier, UCID, I've got Urban Decay, Burberry, there's a Rimmel foundation, my Shiseido one, love that, Chanel. Um, Pro Lumiere, which I am determined not to let go of, even though they discontinued it a very long time ago and replaced it with um, Perfection Lumiere, which in my opinion is not as good, so I'm still holding on to my Pro Lumiere. Then in the top left hand box I've actually got all of my concealers, I've got some of the new Benefit ones, they sent me these and they're actually really good. I don't really like Benefit base makeup a lot of the time, but their new concealers are really good. I've got way too many of the collection 2000 um, Lasting Perfection, I've got them in like every single colour um, depending on the time of year and whereabouts on my face I'm putting Bare it. Minerals, Stroke of Light which is really good as well and just a lot of other concealers in there. The next one along I keep primers and powder. I've got my By Terry um, Hyaluronic Face Glow, I've got Clarins um, Beauty Flash Balm and I've also got a few other things in there along with about two powders because I don't own many so powders. that is my base drawer and then the next one down I actually keep palettes in so as you can see here I've got one of my MAC palettes, a couple of them are actually upstairs and then I have um, my two Urban Decay Naked palettes, some MUA ones and some Sleek ones, I have an Urban Decay, again some Bobbi Brown, a Stila one which I love, that star palette from Christmas. At the back I have some Urban Decay Book of Shadows from back in the day when I first started YouTube and some BH Cosmetics like 80 palettes or whatever they're called and actually this one is really good, this is um, one of the Inglot Freedom palettes which I designed myself or made myself, put together the colours. Um, and I really like that, the shadows from there are amazing. If I can put the lid back on, there we go. And then that is all for that drawer. The next drawer down is actually empty, um, awaiting things to put in it. It tends to be a miscellaneous drawer a lot of the time if I'm waiting to try something out or if I have kind of multiples or something, it'll go in there. Um, I just cleared it out though. And then in the last one, last but not least, is my makeup bag drawer. So in here I keep all of like my makeup bags that I have going on if I need to go away then that is where I go to find my makeup bags and that is my entire makeup collection. That is it for my makeup collection, I hope you guys enjoyed it, if you did don't forget to subscribe and check out my last video if you fancy it, there will be a link right after I stop talking and I will see you all next time, bye! But I am back! with a huge kind of collective type haul for you all today. If you follow me on Twitter or my vlog channel, you might know that I have been